Uh, Sayyidi, how can one increase and accelerate our spiritual growth? And what daily practices can we add, especially during quarantine? What zikr should we practice after every farz? The muraqaba. We've talked uh, about that before for the muraqaba, how to do the, the meditation. You do the wazifa, do the awrads, do all the practices that you can, do as much salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad as possible, making istighfar, keeping your wudu, keeping your energy practices and then a strong adherence in tafakkur and contemplation. They're called meditation in the West and Islamic terminology is tafakkur, to contemplate. There's a light that Allah has given into the heart. We have to every night contemplate that light that I'm in the presence of these lights and asking, Ya Rabbi dress me and bless me from these lights and let this light within my heart to grow. And as I'm breathing and meditating and listening to salawats, listening to Holy Qur'an and breathing trying to make that meditation powerful for myself and trying to dress myself from that reality. The more you become stronger, the more your salah will be your meditation. Because every time you pray it's the same, that you're in a connection and that you're asking to be dressed by the lights of Allah dressed by the holy lights at the Kaaba. The Ya Rabbi dress me from these lights, bless me from these lights. And as soon as you give your tahiyat and close and salams and close your salah, at that time you're asking to communicate with Divinely Presence and you go into sujood for long periods of time. Means this is a whole practice, a whole way of life. There's no accelerant, there is no shortcut, no fast way. It's not about being fast but being slow and consistent. Means this is a, a way in which you do all the time, not McDonald's where you get you know three dollars and drive through, send 10,000 and you become Reiki master, <laughs> maybe 11,000 and you become Sufi master but no. <laughs> That's how Shamash became master. <laughs> yeah, so this is long and consistent life. Take the beatings and let's go. Take the path and the path will begin to open. There's no way of escaping the path. Anyone whom Allah is destined on a path and he says, you know I'm not ready to do it, that's a wrong choice because you're going to get the angel with the stick on one side and the angel with the stick on another side. And every time you go left and right, he's going to beat you this way and he's going to beat you that way. Nobody escapes Allah's plan. It's not the shaykh, it's not any human being. You've only tuned in because it came to your heart. You say, I don't know what the shaykh is talking about, I'm not going to take the path. But if Allah loves you, you're on the path and there's no escaping that. Then you find the people who didn't really understand that, they had a really difficult time coming to this understanding. Because Allah when He wants the servant to submit, they're going to submit. And easier to submit by yourself. We said many times before, you're inspired to give something in the way. You say, I'm not going to give, you get in a car, you get a ticket for $300. Because Allah when He says, you give that night and you say, no, Allah say, I'm going to take it. You go home, the oven explodes, it's five hundred dollars. It probably by that way even Allah made it to go up because every few minutes you're progressing, the expense is going up. So this pay attention in your life that these are signs from Allah Do things by the inspiration in your heart. The more you're inspired and you act on the inspiration, you're getting closer to taslim and submission. The more you deny the inspiration and now the inspiration left the heart we said and went to the maqs, went to the brain. And shaitan is up there chewing on that, oh you don't have to do, you don't do them like that, don't listen to those, no they don't do like that. And before you know it your, your life is through very difficult testing. So tariqah comes and inspires, well you have to have the difficult testing, just taslim. And begin to submit. We say, your tariq, and it's not all the way from here to heaven, oh I got to do this, I got to reach to that, I'm going to do 10,000 of this, 20,000. Your tariq is about this long. 
What? Your will and the shaykh's will. If you can match the will of the shaykh and listen to his advice, you're going to reach your tariq, your path. And that's what's happening now on the internet. Nobody wants to find a shaykh that they have to listen to. So then their tariq became huge, long. I have Baba Ji back home and as a matter of fact he passed away. So I don't listen to anyone. So then your tariqah became huge, there's no way to reach taslim, there's no way to reach how to bring your desire, your want and your will down. So tariqah comes and says, no must be a living guide and that can communicate with you. So when these channels of communication are opening it's to bring you in to the tariq, to come ask a question and slowly begin to build the relationship and you'll begin to get answers that are not pleasing to you. If you move away from it, it becomes more difficult from you. The more you can understand it and move towards that direction, the more you're entering into the ocean of taslim and that's what Allah wants, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. So that the more the servant is submitting, 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 the more the appearance of Sayyidina Muhammad will begin to manifest within the eye of that servant's heart inshaAllah. Sayyidi, our five senses, our five senses in the Malakut show us that we have very little control over things and our own being. Is that why the concept of madad is so key? Let's put it this way, the madad is important. The madad, if Allah give to a servant an opening, without madad the servant is faraun. So it means that if Allah open to a servant reality and that servant is not trained in the whole aqeedah of madad they're pharaoh. So then Allah described these servants of this haqqaiq and Sayyidina Khidr is, is the 11th shaykh of the Naqshbandi golden chain who his madad reaches to us. That Sayyidina Khidr is Salaam's example was for Nabi Musa is Salaam who wanted to reach a reality that was a Muhammadan haqqaiq. He told them, go to one of our servants who attained the rahmah, attained the mercy and then we taught him. So I mean he attained his mercy and then we taught him knowledges. So means anyone who goes to a school and learns knowledges and thinks that because of their knowledge they don't need madad. They don't need a shaykh, they don't need anything, I know I'm hafs, I did this. They became a zalim and they became a pharaoh because they think they achieve something on their own. The concept that Allah wants from this servant is that this servant attained a rahmah. How do you attain a rahmah? It's not an ilm. How did you attain a mercy? As well a crushing. Allah sending through tarbiyah, Allah sending through difficulty the servants. What type of difficulty Sayyidina Khidr had to endure to find that fountain of realities? What type of difficulty was put upon and crushing and what type of system of crushing and crushing and crushing until the servant gives up and say, Ya Rabbi I think I'm going to die on this path. Many times they would go through jungles and, and deserts and oceans and rivers to reach to something. We said before they would sit in isolation and tell you that they're going to sit in a jungle and do khalwa. You think, oh this must be very easy, just put your chair and go in the jungle. We said, put your chair in the backyard and see if you last a half an hour. Allah will send every bug in this backyard up the chair and into your ears, your nose, your eyes. If you go sit out there Allah is not leaving you alone to sit out there. He's going to make all that creation come after you and to see your level of taslim, 
Sheikh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani siru with the beatific character. Five years ordered into seclusion, the first minute arriving he says, a snake appeared and wrapped himself all around me with a face right at my face. And my shaykh whispering in my ear, if you focus on this snake he will kill you in this khalwa, you'll be dead. He said, for 40 days I prayed. We have the Naqshbandi book of all the grand shaykhs online. You can listen to the audio book, very beautiful. Shaykh Daghestani's life, amazing. Listen to these and then make your tafakkur and say, now that you're my beloved grandfather. Anyone listening to us is Naqshbandi. Anyone Naqshbandi, these are your grandfathers. Not only your baba and mama who brought you here, your spiritual grandparents that they're sending the inheritance of Naqshbandiya to you. Listen to your grandparents, their life stories and meditate. The snake facing the face and for 40 days praying and every time I make sujood the snake would move. I'd go back up in my worshipness. Means what type of difficulty put upon the servant until the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That's what we just described. You're crushed and go down, who begins to appear? وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ <coughs> When attaining a rahmah is what? Is that you attain the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad <coughs> That holy presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is what make you to be sweet. Khuluq al azim give you the best and most magnificent of character because the one whom had the best character is the one who's teaching So they have a beautific character. Then Allah Taqullah that they have such a consciousness such a beauty in Allah's presence because of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad then every knowledge opens into that servant's heart. The, the treasure of Allah is the soul of Prophet If Prophet is accompanying you and Allah happy with you, ulum al awwaleen wa akhareen is dressing upon your tongue because it's not you, it's the tongue of Sayyidina Muhammad that using you as a vehicle to address his audience and those whom love him. <coughs> so madad is everything, it's not something that can be understood and it's not your soul that has any ability. Your soul is merely a drop in the reality of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad That's the holy hadith al-Qudsi. That they did their fard, they came to me with voluntary worship, I became their hearing. So the first part of the question didn't make sense because if Allah is your hearing there's no limitation on your soul's hearing. Then it became your seeing. So what they can see is far beyond anything you can imagine. They can see into the depth of your body. They can see on the street everything that will happen on judgment day as what this street looks like on judgment day. And they can see into the seven heavens and into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad because it's not your soul's seeing. It's hadith of Qudsi that Allah describing upon Prophet I will be your seeing. Is there a limitation on Allah seeing? I'll be the tongue in which you speak, is there a limitation on what that tongue can speak? There's darajats. How much Allah going to be on their tongue? How much Allah going to be on their hearing? Based on how well they heard and how well their dunya went down and their malakut dressed their hearing. So every binary code on all of these faculties, that's why we started with the Ramadan. How is the binary code of your hearing? If your hearing is strong in dunya but you don't hear anything from malakut, so it means what? Then you're going to fast with this ear, I don't want to hear this music, I don't want to hear these things. So that this one become like a nuqt, when the ears are clean, 
when the ears did their siyam and their fasting, what type of inspiration going to start to hear? It's going to hear now the inspiration of malakut. So same for the fasting of the eyes, if the eyes is looking at everything, looking at everyone, looking at everything forbidden and not halal for you, even even the halal for you not to be looked at, then the eye becomes to fast and fast and fast in which they don't care for the dunya anymore. And zikrs for them is like a time of death they can enter in and feel like they died and go back into heaven. This eye becomes nothing, the eye of your soul becomes from that reality where Allah is just saying, I'm the seeing in which you see, I'm the tongue in which you speak, I'm the hand in which you touch. What kind of hand is that that this person would have that Allah's hand is upon their hand, hand of Sayyidina Muhammad is upon their hand, that what Allah gave to their hand the whole control of mulk, so it means this soul is not something that we understand from your faculties. It's if you inherit from Prophet soul to dress upon your soul, finish. What kind of qadam and, and foot move is with that? That when they move and the step of Prophet is upon them, can anybody stop what Allah wants? Impossible. Can anybody understand the qadam of Prophet No. That's why they don't care what anyone thinks, they do what they have to do because it's the footsteps of Prophet supporting them. So it's not from our soul's understanding and the small things that we can achieve. It's you becoming non-existent. When you don't exist and you're zero, there is one. So we said many times, Sultanul Awliya Ma Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani said, I'm nothing. I'm nothing, nothing, nothing but I had achieved 124,000 nothings. Means I went to the negative 124,000. I showed myself as nothing, nothing, talked as nothing, wore clothes of nothingness. All of those teachings were Shaykh Nazim's teaching, don't show yourself. Don't wear fancy colors, don't wear stripes, don't wear all of these things that are like clown outfits. Be nothing, blend in with everything. As much as you can achieve a state of nothingness, if Allah turn you on, He says, I have a power of 124,000 awliyaullah. But in my day and day life, I'm nothing, nothing. So it means this reality and this haqqaiq of taking a path of nothing to achieve that reality of the dress. When Allah wants the servant on, the binary code comes. Those nukhts move the other way in one shot and that person becomes 124,000. But not everyone's going to achieve that but this is the understanding, be nothing, be nothing until Allah flips the binary switch. So when they're on, they're on with support. When they're off they took a path of being <coughs> nothing, show themselves as nothing. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Su'udat al-Fatiha.